G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm really excited to be showing you guys a new range of rods that we've just received in store and as we continue to grow and the stores continue to get bigger, our, our range of products continue to, to expand. I'm really excited to get this range of rods in because we're, we're really trying to build build this shop to have everything, okay? So um, we're just slowly working our way at it. And you know, I mean, it can't just happen all overnight and we're just slowly chipping away, chipping away, chipping away and continuing to add more product and, and get a really good diverse range of product. And, this next series of rods or brand of rods uh, is kind of our next step as well into just you know offering more high-end product. Um, you know we, we do sell a lot of high-end product at the moment, but we just want to continue to just just keep expanding that and and really I just, I just want to offer you guys the best fishing gear available. So I've been hanging to get this brand in for a while, and we finally kind of uh, bit the bullet and um, and done it, and and we've ordered our first first initial batch of rods and it's from Yamaga so I'm sure a lot of you guys if you're into high-end high-end fishing gear you're well and truly going to be aware of Yamaga they make a, a great range of of rods from light tackle um, jigging offshore casting um, shore jigging you know, GT popping you name it they make it you know the, the finish on these rods they're, they're all handmade in Japan they're, they're premium quality rods and you know you, you pick them up and they're just they really are a really really nice range of rods and the price of the rods you know I mean they they are expensive but they're very I would say they're very reasonable for a Japanese made quality rod you know you can pick up a couple of other rods on the on the market in similar price points and you know you can pick up the Yamaga and go wow like you're getting really good value for money so I'm going to run you through some of the models today that we've just got in. Um, keep in mind, we will be expanding the range over the coming months. Um, we, like I said, we're just going to do it bit by bit. But there, there is some really nice rods in this range, and you know, I'll give you a look at what we have now in store. And you know, you can order these on our website at tacklewest.com.au, or you can come into store and you can check them out and have a feel for yourself and, and just see the difference when you when you pick up a, a premium quality rod. So let's get stuck straight into it. The first ones that we're going to take a look at is the Blue Current Three Series. Now. The Blue Current are an ultra light tackle rod designed for um, aging fishing and you know just light tackle f fishing really in general. So for us these are going to work really well for flathead uh, brim fishing. You know they, they really are just an ultra light um, finesse series range of rods and you know these things you pick them up in the hand and the, one, the first thing I noticed when I picked these up yesterday when we got them in is just how light they are like these these things weigh absolutely nothing they, they are ultra ultra light rods and you know if you're going to be catching um, brim on the flats or that kind of fishing that that's where these are going to be really good they're not so much structure fishing rods I would say they're more kind of flats fishing rods but um, very very ultra light and you know I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this in the video but just the finish on the blank and the finish on the bindings um, is exceptional so these uh, blue current three they uh, they they have quite a, a number of models to choose from and we do have there's about six or seven different models starting from six foot three so this one here this is probably the 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 shortest well the lightest one that we have and, and it's the shortest model and it's six foot three so they rate this one kind of at one to three pound so that is actually quite a very light rod six foot three very nice for fishing uh, for trout this one here um, or you know stream fishing that's where this this particular one would be really well uh, work really well but there's a number of different ones throughout the range here and a couple of these rods they're a little bit different to a lot of other things that we sell um, you know for example you if you look at this one and you don't really see like this is a brim rod that I'm holding now but you don't really see many brim rods quite like this um, you know this one's eight foot three so uh, yeah eight foot sorry eight foot two so it's actually 
um, a fair bit longer than anything else that we really see on the market here. Um, but you know, it's still a brim rod, going to be absolutely fantastic for, for uh, wading the flats and casting really long distance. Um, but yeah, there's a, a range of different different ones here that you really kind of want to check out if you if you like your, your ultralight tackle fishing. Um, but yeah, again guys, the, the this is the blue current series and you know, just ultra, ultra finesse, ultra light. I mean, even this one here for eight foot two weighs nothing. Um, it's going to be matched really well with an exist. You could put like a, maybe a, um, one of the new Arities that are coming out on them because they're super light. But yeah, Yamaga uh, Blue Current. This one, I was just having a little bit of a play with all of the models and I think I've actually found my favorite one out of the range. And this is a 76 Stream, they call it. So this one here, it's seven foot six. It's rated up to 12 gram casting weight, which is actually you know a pretty reasonable cast weight. And it's rated from P.3 to P.8. So this is kind of like a, I guess you could rate it like a three to eight pound rod. Um, I, I would run five or six pound braid on this thing. And this is actually, I, this is definitely, I think the nicest one out of those uh, blue current range. Perfect for, you know, the, 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 the length is perfect for land based fishing. You know, you get a really, really good cast with this rod. Um, the guides are all uh, Fuji K guides. So, you know, um, anti-tangle, and the good thing about them as well, this is one thing I like, is especially on this model, I don't know, it keeps focusing on my face, but um, can you see there? Um, reasonable size guides, like they're not oversized and they're not too small. So you'll actually be able to cast a knot quite effectively through these, but this is definitely, I, I think this is one, you know, if you like the light tackle stuff, check this one out. So this is the 76 Stream. Um, definitely out of all the ones that I'm looking at, I think, you know, in this blue current series, I think this is, um, that's definitely my favorite for, absolutely for sure. Just loading it up. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice rod. So anyway, that's, uh, the blue current three series. Um, let's check out the next range. The next ones we're going to look at are the Galahad series. Now the Galahad is a jigging range of rods. They're available in spin, and we also have them in overhead configurations. Um, really, really nice, just ultra nice jigging rods, okay? These um, feature full grips, so something, you know, for the guys that don't like the split grips and that, um, we've got a full gripped range of rods here. Again, like the same as the other rods that I was talking about, they just weigh nothing. Like I, I'm actually so surprised. This particular one here, and I think this is this particular one will be probably the most popular for our fishing in, in WA, which is the, the it's called the 63-3S. So it's a six foot three P3 rod. Um, this one here, like mate, honestly, it it just weighs nothing. Um, you, you're going to match this up to like a new Soul Tiger or a a Certate 6000, and your combo is just Come into the store, pick it up, and tell me how bloody light it is because it just it weighs nothing. But again, you got you can see just the the premium quality finish on these rods, um, all fitted out with quality Fuji componentry, and you know the grips are the perfect size. You know you got your nice little foregrip at the front. They've got Fuji Deluxe reel seats on them, so these are the good quality Fuji reel seats. And I just like how the butts are finished off, just with a nice EVA butt. Um, nice and simple, you know, nothing over the top flashy about them, um, but they're just a really good quality Japanese made rod. So these are available in quite a, uh, qu there's actually quite a large range of these. We've kind of hand picked all the ones that I think are going to be best suitable for, for our fishing. Um, so we have some PE3 models. We also got a couple of the, the heavier PE6 models. So for guys jigging for Samson fish, um, you can see this thing here. This is an absolute brute. Again, you know, this one here, it's it's a PE6 rod, but uh, the same thing that I was talking about, very lightweight, not, not um, overly heavy, but it, you know, all good quality componentry. And yeah, just uh, again, really top finish um, for a Japanese made, Japanese made rod. Um, this one here, it's five foot six. So 
you know you could match this up with like a 14,000 size Soltiga and you know you'd have a have a pretty powerful pretty pretty powerful bloody little outfit there but look at that yeah anyway guys that's the Galahad series and it's definitely one for all of you boat guys boat fishing anglers um, that you'll want to want to get onto one of these the next series of rods that we're going to look at and I think these ones are probably I think these are probably going to be the most popular for us and this is the blue sniper so the blue sniper is a range of boat casting rods and they really make a lot of I think they, they make a lot of rods here in this range that cater really well for our fishing in WA because like especially me I do a lot of offshore casting um, and I use 20 to 30 pound braid I like my rods to be you know at least seven foot to you know eight foot and there's just not a lot of rods on the market that fall directly into this category and have these actions and can cast these types of weights so um, the blue sniper range th there's quite a couple of different ones here to choose from but i'm going to pick out my favorite out of the range and it's definitely the 72-3 and this is i would use this rod all the time like i would use this rod for dolphin fish fishing um casting at tuna taking it up north, casting it um, near Spangley's, Trevally, all that kind of stuff. This rod, this particular rod here, I think I would use this all the time. Um, it's very similar to rods that I'm currently using, but again, just pr probably lighter than some of the rods that I'm currently using physically. Um, that's what's really impressed, impressed me about it. But if we start at the, the real seat, again, really top quality Fuji real seat. Um, so it's a deluxe reel seat with a locking nut. So you, know, you can really secure that down. The butt, just a nice round EVA ball knob. Um, real nice foregrip, you know, it's not too, not too big, not too small. Um, all, this is one thing I like as well with these rods. The base of the rod, we've got a, a double foot guide here and then we also have a double foot guide here. Some, I've had, um, similar Japanese rods like this before where they don't um, put double foot guides uh, for the ter first two, two, and um, they only put single foots. But in this in this range, they've got double foot guides and it, it just, I, I think it stiffens up the action of the rod a little bit and you, you know, it's a lot more longevity actually in that guide. Um, but again, Fuji K guides, um, then we go into the single strippers. And again, with these, they've got the appropriate size guides. So, you know, you've got an appropriate size tip, you've got an appropriate size um, guide train, so you will be able to cast a, a reasonable size leader. Like for this particular rod, it's a PE3 rod. You know, I would want to use 60 or 80 pound leader through this. And I can tell you now, you're not going to have a problem with this rod uh, casting it through your guides. It's absolutely going to cast really well. Um, another thing with the majority of these rods, well, pretty much all of them, is their butt join. So boom uh, two piece but really they are two piece or I, I like to call this I like to call this type of rod a two section rod because really the blank itself is still one piece this is a different section so um, they're two section rods really good for transport um, there's no mid joins it's you know just a really nice nice finish but that's the blue sniper the 72 72 3 i think that's one that you're definitely going to want to check out and the other one that's really nice as well especially if you if you want some um good casting distance i actually really like this one as well i don't know i don't know what one i'm gonna get but um this one's the 81 2 so again I would run PE3 on this one. It's uh, got a slightly lighter rating than the 73, but that's just because the rod's longer. But mate, this thing is gonna give you an absolute belter of a cast. This eight foot, eight foot one, um, you will cast a stick bait an absolute mile. And again, matched up with a 6,000 size uh, Soltiga. One of the new Soltigas, like it's gonna be epic on one of these. The colors are gonna match as well because you've got gold bindings. Um, with the gold Soltiga reel, but nice long grip. Yeah, you can see it's a, a really good good length uh, grip, so you'll get a really good cast. But um, actually, I think I've changed my mind. I really think, yeah, I think I like the eight foot one the most. Yeah, 
you, you, I, I think with these types of rods, like especially if you're casting, you just want the most amount of distance possible. And yeah, the eight foot one, th this is the one you want to check out. So the eight foot one, um, blue sniper, check this one out. Um, light tackle fishing. Yeah, dolphin fish, tuna, up north fishing. This is the one. So the next series that we're going to look at, and I, this is the last series, but bear in mind, um, there's four series of rods that we've got in, but there's quite a lot of models in each of these ranges. Um, so there is a, a few rods to look at, but this range of rods, I think, I think Yamaga does a really good job at closing the gap because there's not a lot on the market in an offshore, well, I guess when I say offshore, I mean like off the shore, um, beach fishing, shore casting rods. There's, there's really not a huge amount of good quality um, shore casting casting rods there. So this series, I think, I think we're really, uh, I think they're going to be really popular for us in in WA um, because a lot of guys go fishing, you know, from shore. They go fishing from the rocks. Um, they go up north, Quabba, um, Steep Point, all those land based. And you know, you you don't want a beach rod, but you want a shore casting rod. So um, there. There is quite a quite a number of rods to choose in this range, but we'll just look at this one for example. So we've got a nine foot seven uh, medium heavy rod. You know this this here is going to match really well with a you know maybe like a uh, you know ten thousand or a fourteen thousand size saltiga, and you know for casting for mackerel, casting for big tuna, um, you know fishing off the rocks just in general for all those kind of species up north. Um, running PE4 line, you know, and, and the thing is being able to cast a decent weight. So this particular rod, it's going to be able to cast up to 60 grams. The, throughout the ranges, obviously, they get, get heavier line classes and heavier weight uh, casting weights. But these, this is really, I, I think this is going to be applicable to a lot of guys that are heading north because, like I said, there's just not a lot of these style of rods on the market, um, you know, and, and I just think, I think they're going to go really well for us. Uh, this one here, 10 foot, okay, it's the 100M. You can fish up to P3 line on this. Um, really good casting. Again, ultra lightweight range of rods. Um, none of the rods are heavy, they're all very light. And again, really good quality, really good quality Fuji guides and really good quality finish. One thing I will say with these is they're all uh, spigot joins, so mid join spigots, but it's a really good, good finished spigot. So when the rod comes together, I'll just show you. Oh, it's focusing on my eyes. When the rod comes together, you can see you've got a little bit of exposed spigot there, but it's a really good solid join. Um, you know, that rod there, I mean, you can't even tell when you when you're playing with this thing. You can't even tell that it's two piece. They're, they're, it's a really good quality join, and yeah, you can see it there. It's finished off nice, nicely. So, this is the blue sniper range of rods, guys. I think all of you shore based anglers, you're really going to want to check these out. And um, yeah, I, I think come in store, have a bit of pl a bit of a play with this range of rods or any of the Yamaga rods because we got them in both of our stores at Beckenham and at Osborne Park. I'm going to have them all on the website for you guys to check out as well. So if you can't get into store and you want to order them, um, you can order them through our website at tacklewest.com.au. Over the coming months, I'm sure we're going to have um, the range expanding even further to carry a, a few more of the, the other models that they do. And, you know, we're just going to continue to keep adding to our range and, and just expanding and offering you guys more, more good quality fishing gear to choose from. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.